Tony here, Random Adventures 2.0. Hey, we're, we are at an abandoned farm. It looks like a dairy farm, just from what I can see. Uh, looks like uh, we've got some different stalls in here. Let's check this out. All right, so come along with me and uh, let's, let's check this place out. All right. Man, we got some blue skies. We had an ice storm yesterday or last night into this morning. Uh, and I wanted to get out and uh, find a place. And I was just driving on a back road and sure enough, saw this through the woods, thought I'd get out of the car and check it out. So like I said, it looks, it looks to me like it's a, an old dairy barn, uh, like maybe dairy cattle, stuff like that. But let's go in some of these buildings here. Yeah, definitely an old dairy, dairy barn. A little bit of graffiti on the walls. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm gonna just pan you back up, up to the other end where the silos are. I wanna make my way back up there. Uh, like I said, I was just kinda cruising down through here. But yeah, definitely a dairy, uh, dairy barn. So uh, this, this right here, We've got the water uh, where the cows would come up and put their head through there, be able to drink. Looks like maybe this, these pipes here uh, were maybe part of the, maybe the milking. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not a, a dairy cow farmer, but I have known a few in the past. Um, but maybe that's where they, the milk uh, ran through. But yeah, we'll just make our way back up here to the silos. I want to check them out real quick. So it looks like quite a few of them on the ends of each. Uh, there's an old rusty old tub. Wow, oh, that's cool. Yeah. That is neat. All right, so we got some of the old electrical. I might have to grab my gloves. It's definitely cold. Oh yeah, so here's, here's some openings to the silos. Looks like there's openings on every level going up on this one. Ah, oh, that's cool. I'm gonna change the camera around so I can stick you in there. Look up inside. Oh, that looks like a big clump of old feed that was still left in there. Very neat. Old wooden wooden door. Door right there. That used to be in place on the bottom there. Looks like most of them have all fallen out even on this one over here. Uh, so you can see some of the old old doors that would have closed this off so the feed wouldn't fall out, but they would use these silos at the end here to feed the cows. Just want to watch where I step. Looks like there's more. There's an old, really cool old wooden door. A little old wooden barn door there. So that was in, in place of that right there at one time. Let's just take a quick peek. Oh, there's more silos on the side. All right. I'll give you a shot of those. Here's a here's one that's still in place. Old hinge door. Oh, that's man. Look at all the feed that was left in there. This has a lot of old feed in it. I'd imagine the mice are having a field day with that, but that's old, old, old feed. So this is a way up to the top from the outside. Let me climb that. Uh, not me. Not today. Let's go on back in here. This is a, a shot from the one end where the silos are. Looks like someone had a board that went up above into the upper part. Yeah. It's pretty dark up there. I don't know if we can see down there. Yeah, it looks like it's open all the way to the other end there. 
but it also looks like the ceiling's falling apart. <laughs> so I wouldn't want to walk up there. You'd end up falling through. All right, I think I'm going to grab my gloves out of my bag here. And you see all the old vines growing through the through the windows here. Just reclaiming the building. There's a the back door. And old metal frame windows, which is typical. All the glass is gone, smashed out. It's laying on the ground here. It's hard to see. But there's a the back door. Let's go ahead and see what's on out the back door. Look like this. It still has a hold on it. Huh. It's made out of wood. Big field. This used to be part of the farm, it looks like. Some deer running. We got a building right over here. This used to probably all be farmland at one time for this farm, which was a dairy farm, it looks like. So let's check this building out over here. I got my gloves on. So that was the dairy farm and the dairy barns. I don't know what this was. Maybe this was a milk house. I don't know. Let's check it out real quick. We got some double windows looks like there was a fireplace in here uh, and then some wooden doors on the end it's got a little little runoff creek <laughs> laying there next to it water running well, water. So we got a double door there let's hop across here I got some stones Bars on the windows. You can see all through there pretty good. Fires in the upper level as well. Oh, no, that looks pretty cool up there. I can't get up there. I don't have a ladder or anything, but I can get you up there. Maybe there was hay stored up there or something, but looks like there's a, a handle where you can pull that closed. Let's see if I can get the shot of that handle. So there was electric in here, so there's a light receptacle. Huh. And those are the doors at the end that we were just looking at from outside. Huh. Little binder twine on there. I'm not sure how they open. I don't know if they do open. It looks like they go up. Looks like they get open from the bottom and then pushes up. Huh. Here's another another opening. I'm gonna straighten the camera. I'm gonna put it on a different view so I can stick you up up in, in there so we can see what's up there. All right, so there's a, another opening in the ceiling. And I can see the rafters and stuff up there. I don't have a way up there, so I'm just gonna put the camera up through the hole and just kind of pan around. So this is the upper level. There's a, spin that around, there's a ladder there. There goes up. This would be a look out of that upper level door. Boy, some nice wooden doors up there. 
and we'll look back up at the ceiling and then we'll come back down to the first floor here. And that's a shot back out of the door that we just came in. Uh, all dirt floor in here. I don't know what this was used for, but maybe, uh, well, you know what? It's, it's cement over here. So probably the whole floor is cement, but it's got some dirt uh, in there. But these, these doors lift up. There was a, probably a pulley system to get them up. But I don't know what's on that side of the building. Let's check it out. spring down here. Check that out. All right, so that's the top of that old spring. And there's a creek that runs down below here. We're not going to walk down to that creek just a pan around here boy beautiful sky again man awesome awesome day to explore right so i'm gonna call that cow barn number one and carb cow barn number two which we did not go into just looking at some of the differences if you look at this one um all of that is wood on the end and on that one over there it's all metal that also looks like a shingled roof on this one and that's a metal roof over there on on that one uh, so that's probably the newer one this is probably probably the original on this side look at those big air vents on the top huh. but yeah definitely all all grown in Old, old birdhouse right, right here. That's cool. I'm just going to walk back up through here and go down. Let's go in the other one real quick. Yeah, we're not going to go up through there. So we'll, we'll go back in through this, this one and cut across. back out up to the front of this this cow barn yeah, this one's got a little bit more graffiti in it here we've got the silos at this upper end just like the other side oh this one's got a lot of the old doors still intact on this one that's really really I like those colors <laughs> I get a quick picture of this some of the pictures I'm taking, maybe I'll throw them up in a little album, uh, like the other side. Uh, this is this silo. Yeah, and I'm just gonna pan it up, see how high up we can see. Got a little bit of an echo in here. <laughs> That's a shot up the top. All right, got a picture of this. That's cool. All right. So, at this end, got the two doors. Now this is the one with the metal up there, where the other one has wood. All right, let's go ahead on in this one. Let's 
So now there's a little bit more junk scattered around in it. This looks like the newer of the two. So here looks like I got a hand, hand out of this glove. So right over here looks like these are pen, pens. I don't know if they would. Yeah. Okay. So when the cow would come up, they would may put their head through here. I don't know and eat here down in this trough. Get my thumb back in my glove. All right. So here we've got the same water troughs. Okay. Yeah. Cow would come up, put his head through here, right into here. Then they would put their food in there, grain. They would eat from that. This one's a little bit. I guess it's. I guess they're about the same length. Looks like there's another room down at the other end. So this is really neat. So definitely an old an old cow barn. I I'm guessing, uh, just because of the what looks like milking uh, on the other end. So there's uh, two side doors. So here's a side door here. And it looks like maybe they would come in and go down that way. And then this is back towards the back. Yeah, a lot of hay. Huh. I mean, this place see, seems like it hasn't been used in a long, long time. And just look at the hay laying there. Big pile of hay. Um, this one's got a wooden... Wooden rafters down through. And yeah, there is a different, another room down at this end. So just step in here. Uh, it's got a nice sliding door here as well. All right. I wonder if that opens and closes. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah. This is that back door. This is where it was really overgrown back here. Huh. I'm guessing we might have a groundhog or something living in here. See a hole there. And it looks like a big hole there. Huh. As long as a big rat doesn't jump out and come chasing me. <laughs> we got, got another yeah, there, there's probably all kind of big, big rats in here, I would guess. Yeah. Or some type of uh, animal living in this man-made shelter. Huh. Yeah, yeah. There's a, there's another, another hole there. Somebody's hibernating in there. <laughs> yeah. This is a, a look out that back door, which is all grown up. I mean, you have to bushwhack to get out there. We could probably hunker down and get through there. Uh, but we're going to go back out the other end. All right. So pretty obscene uh, graffiti on the walls. That's the only problem with doing this filming is you got to be really, really, ah, really cautious of some of the graffiti that's on there. Uh, just... I don't know why people got to do that, but they do. All right. So yeah, let's look out this this side door here. I gotta step over this metal grate or piece of fence. Looks like an old farmhouse is over here. Yeah, it looks like an old farmhouse. There's a creek that runs through there, like we saw down there. There's a creek. Uh, it doesn't look like there's a way across the creek. I, I don't see one. So you probably have to go up the road, but that would be going by houses and stuff. So, and it looks like the roof is collapsed in. So we're going to, we're just going to be content with this and uh, step out here on the side. And 
That is a really, really neat find. All right. Huh. Pretty awesome. Look back down at the bottom. Huh. Yeah. Pan across the field again. Like I said, when I first looked up, when I came out the back door the first time, didn't really have the camera going, but there was a bunch of deer up here in this field running this way. Yeah. I'd imagine there's quite a few around. Let's go back in here. Oh, this would be a pretty cool place for a stealth camp <laughs> overnight. Find one of these stalls and <laughs> set the hammock up. I have the hammock with me, uh, but I don't know if we're gonna do that today. But hey, thanks for coming along, appreciate you, and uh, go ahead and hit like and subscribe if you like seeing content like this, and uh, I don't know, I'll catch you on the next random adventure. All right, take care. Hey, this is a real quick short Tony Rand Adventures 2.0. All right, so uh, just got a 2017 Outback. So this is the new Random Adventures 2.0 vehicle. All right, uh, it's out on its very first Random Adventure. Got a video coming out soon on that, but uh, this is what we'll be riding in uh, the 2017 Outback. Quick shout out to Alex, uh, the sales uh, person over there at WNL Subaru. Great place, and what a what an awesome experience that was. So. Uh, this is the vehicle you'll be seeing on a lot of random adventures from here on out. All right, take care.